guys over here. It's the first night. So I'm sitting. It's a south breeze, which is good. Um, I didn't check the camera because it's down where the bedding is. But here, I'll just give you a look around. Down there's the swamp. two trails right here I can shoot on and my trick trail cameras over there Wasn't that just the weirdest hunt at the end there? Those deer didn't want to spook for nothing. I was trying to use the call to get them to move because it was too dark to shoot. Oh, I just heard a wolf howl. That's nice. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to spook them by me talking. I just wanted to spook them by the call because there was like 10 deer. I'm not sure if the video got that little fork book in there, but he's still in velvet. Um, that's pretty cool. That's kind of late for velvet here in Wisconsin, the 20th of September. Um, yeah. So, that was day one. Interesting little sit. Good little first sit of the year. I loved it. Getting out here in the field. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, just a quick update. Uh, I pulled the camera out of the car of the camera last night when I finished hunting. Um, and he's back on camera a couple times, both in the morning. Um, Looks like he's been using the bedding for the evening hours during the night. So the plan should be to go in there in the morning and try and get him. Um, he's definitely going to be in there in the morning. He's been in there in the morning these past few weeks. So we will see what happens. Uh, I just got to get quietly in there. It's not the best spot for morning because you have to walk the edge of the field about 50 yards from their bedding you really have to you have to go into the corn ways to avoid them and you gotta make as little noise as possible because you're really close to them so we'll see what we can do that's how i shot my buck there last year he was bedded about 70 yards from the stand and i got up in there somehow we'll see if we can do that again and sounds good we'll see you there okay so we're here for the second evening sit sit but it was storming that morning so I wasn't able to do a sit so I'm here in the evening we'll see if anything comes through again um, hopefully that buck comes through
well, we didn't see the buck, or at least we didn't see him in daylight. Uh, at the end there, there was a big, big black dark deer in the swamp, and it let out a grunt, so it was definitely a buck, but it was too dark to see. Um, also, I saw a eight pointer that's going to be a good shooter in a couple of years. I wasn't able to get him on camera because he just ran through. Um, there's a few does. I saw about eight deer again, uh, three bucks. Uh, well, the one I didn't see, but two I saw. And we're just going to go at it. Hopefully, we get a morning hunt in here. I think he's going to be bedded down there. I think he beds down there every day. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.